First topic, we're going to be talking about. Shut the fuck up. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry, I had to do that. I had Shut to do that. I had the to do fuck that. up. That's good. Yeah, yeah. You done? We're right. talking about Brittany Renner. PJ we, Washington, right? And PJ Washington. So basically, she had an interview with DJ Academics. DJ Academics questioned her on her relationship with PJ Washington and how everybody was basically saying that she trapped him. She's out here trying to trap young players and young mm -hmm. people. And yeah, he questioned her on it. And she this is her response. Okay, so this is what I really get so fucking annoyed about is like, so when do you as men take accountability? You're old enough to ride this ride. You want to fuck with me. You want to you want to come at me. You want to mm. fuck me raw. So mm. why are we why are we babying men who make decisions for themselves? I like I told you, I was on birth control up until I had a conversation with my baby father. So what do you so what do you think happened? So the I imagine I got, like I got a leg women. lock him. No, let me the like, stop. The majority of stuff. men and stop women it. are different. Come no, stop. Now. No, you, it's because men and women are held to different standards. Y'all want to look at a 20-year-old who wanted to fuck. I was 26 when I met him. You want to fuck with me? Here's what it is. Mm. Mm. Here's what it is. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. I watched this um, interview. And I was, I'm split. Because right? one, one, one side, I'm like, he is accountable. He did, not, he did that. He made the decision. <laughs> he did not. He, it sounded he, like they had a conversation yeah. for her to get off of birth control. Yeah. That's what she says, yeah. Yeah. So, I'm like, I mean, he made the decision to, to do, you know, fuck without a rubber. So, yeah. he is accountable. Now, if she if she knew what she was doing the whole time, if if she knows that that he he's naive, you know, he's younger than her. Mm -hmm. Like he she knows she has that power and influence over him. Then it's like, damn. She's the what? Puppeteer, right? She's the manipulator. Now, my question is, if she's the manipulator, how much accountability should he take? Wait, what makes her the manipulator? If she knows, all right, so Shake recently, um, you said that she be going to <laughs> she yeah. be going to colleges. She going to she be putting that poom poom on a college tour and <laughs> going around different schools where these young athletes is at, where most of them are playing ball and they're horny. So what you what you expect them to do is she she she's not ugly. You know what I'm saying? No, she ain't. Her personality's ugly as shit, but <laughs> she's not ugly. <laughs> and she's hitting these campuses with these young athletes who's going to want, like, yo, if somebody somebody come up to them like, yo, I'm, I'm trying to, uh, uh, they're not going to be like, oh, no, nah, I don't want it. No, they're they going to be with it. And most of them are like 18, prime horniness, let's 18, just, 19, 20. Let's just assume for your question that she's, she's older, so let's just assume she's more experienced than he is. Like she's mm -hmm. dated rappers, she's dated celebrities, she's been in the limelight longer than he has been. Mm -hmm. He hasn't. He, I don't even think he got no crazy contract. Like he's no. a, he's he's still a youngin. He still has yeah. a whole life ahead of him. His contract is basically going to the baby. Mm -hmm. That's exactly. where the contract <laughs> is going. The baby and her. No, no, just the baby, <laughs> just the baby. But saying that she's more experienced, you could say that she could have manipulated him and you know trapped him. But as you were saying, no one forced him to nut. No one forced exactly. him to nothing. Yeah, y'all think if he didn't make it, she would have kept it. What you mean? Mm. Oh, make it to the A? Mm. Hell no. Oh, she would have kept exactly. the baby. Hell mm. no. And what do you mean nobody forced him to nut? That gorilla grip coochie <laughs> did. That's what it. That's what <laughs> forced him <Hey>. to. <laughs> that's what stopped the sex. All right, right. let's see what these comments are saying. So Ted G something. said them gal are wicked. I'm tired of hearing this nigga. <laughs> Brunella <laughs> says very layered situation. Sheridan says she's not right, but he knew she's been like that. And that's a fact. She's been she's basically showed online what type of girl she is. If a girl shows you who she is believe publicly, her. believe her. Mm. Like you know what type of girl you're messing with. Mm. Um, Love Lavender says, but I feel like Britney Renner been had money. This was not a come up for her. If he did not want this woman to be a baby mama, he should have wrapped it up. We always think we're good and nothing is going to minute, happen. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold wait up. A minute. He always think we're good and nothing's going to happen to us until actually, it actually does. And then we sit here looking stupid. He did exactly that. He probably thought nothing was going to happen. And the next thing you know, she's pregnant. Hold on. Wait. She said that it's not a come up. I could use an extra 250000 right now. <laughs> I don't know what. I, I'm sorry. I would have to disagree heavily. It's a come up. She got two hundred and fifty extra thousand. If, even if she is well off, more money is never bad. I don't she ever two fifty a month. Two fifty a month for the kid, mm. for the kid a month, not not annually, 
a Damn. month. That nigga game checks is gone. That's why I said the checks go into the baby. That's his game checks. He, shit. She didn't. She didn't come up. <laughs> Delete so, so, that. So Delete what, it. So what? She didn't want. She didn't want to be with him. Like, I don't think the plan was to ever be with him. Well, that's what they were saying. They were saying that she basically had a baby by him. She she got to come up. She cashed out. Like, you know. But when I watched the interview, she said that she had intentions of marrying him. Drew, it just didn't happen. What fifty say? What fifty say? Have a baby by me, baby. <laughs> Be a millionaire. That's a fact, and um, she definitely secured it. If if that was her, if that was her initial thing, she definitely secured it. But I do want to say this: I think is it's in our responsibility as men to watch who we nutting and who we choose to give that seed to. Like, if we messing with a girl and we know that this is not someone I want to have a baby with, this is not someone I right. You should be aware of going raw, all that shit. Once that leaves your body, once the nut leaves you, there's nothing you can do. Like, it's out of your hands. Literally. That's it. <laughs> she said she was on birth control. She said they had a discussion. Mm-hmm. And he still wanted to nut, huh? Yeah. yeah. That was his choice. Like, I don't want like, to like, like can't he, worry about Like, PJ he know Washington. that that's, that's how you have babies, right? Like, <laughs> he <laughs> probably he thought he was going, I mean, there's a lot of uh, questions. I, I mean, my, my thing is, is, like, I get it. She literally, I don't want to say she trapped him. Because like you said, we all have a responsibility here. So if you chose to, you know, nut her or, you know, impregnate her, that's on you. That comes with the consequences. So you gave up basically 30 minutes of passion for 18 years of headache. That's that's basically what the exchange was. Mm. You ain't get enough on that trade value, brother. You a ball player. I thought you would know this. This is... This, <laughs> It's not not good at all, like fellas. You gotta fight for your kids. Oh yeah, you gotta Nigga, fight it's for hard your out kids. here with these court systems to I fight know. for your kids. You gotta fight for your kids because that's crazy. You might lose. Like, you probably gonna lose. Hold on, tell you what you think about this, brother. <laughs> to be honest, man, I don't really put the blame on him because she knew he was young. You know what I'm saying so. At the at the end of the day, she saw a check. She like, I right, bet. Because mind you. If we talking, we having sex or whatever, ah, uh, ah, uh, we already had this discussion, right? So for me, with any girl I'm talking to, I'll be like, yo, listen, if I have a kid right now, I'm not even ready for financially stable to stand third. We come to an agreement for us to go further. Like, we got to be on the same page because if she get pregnant, she's like, oh, I'm keeping it. That wasn't in the plan. You feel me? Oh, so, so she has to agree with you. Like, yes. okay, if she doesn't agree with you, you still fucking roll? Okay. It's quiet. So it's an <laughs> agreement. So you feel me? He's young. He fucking with a a girl that's known. Yeah, facts. Been passed around. So yeah, he gonna be started like, yeah, I'm this this one fucking right. third. So I don't know. He I'm, probably thought he was locking her up. I'm putting the ball probably. in his court. He probably thought <laughs> you feel me? I'm probably. putting the ball in his court. He thought he had to come up this down third. He must he probably forgot. Like, oh, she, she played the game game better. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So she just played the game better, probably. Yeah. Vanilla Peter says society continues to encourage young boys to be less mature at a younger age. Flip this, people would expect a young lady to be mature than PJ right now. Love Lavender says nobody gets mad that DMX and future have five baby mamas each, but when Brittany Renner gets pregnant by a celebrity, it's a big deal. Um, Five baby mamas, and they take... Where did that come from? I'm confused. <laughs> so she that? she's saying the double standards. Like, a nigga could have, you know, five baby mamas, but a girl gets pregnant by one. Yeah, but think about it. It's not about her getting pregnant. It's how, she, how it was acquired. Mm-hmm. All right, she's because <laughs> was, was a quiet. And it's like who was it benefiting at the end of the day? Her, she, she. Well, she, I mean, he got the kid. No, he don't. I mean, the kid is named PJ, whatever the third, the yeah, third. But he don't have the third. She he, got the kid and she got the check. Yeah, she got custody. She got the check. She like your honor. I I got the bread. Just let me keep my kid. Right. Why Why would I pay her? I could. I got my kid. I got my bread. We good. Yeah. But it's hard out here for a man to get their kid. You know what I mean? True. That's a fact. I miss. Tri- oh, shoot, damn. <laughs> Hold up, before you before you go, everybody in the chat, we got every. If you in the chat, make sure you like the video right now. Like the video. Say what up to Tay. We got the special guest Tay in the building. Yo, but yo. make sure y'all like the video. If you have not subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel right now. We're on the road to five hundred. We gonna hit five hundred by the end of the month. Before the end of the month, you feel me? 
All right, so today's show, we're going to have some call-ins, all right? We have a couple callers who want to um, share their opinion about this topic. And we got a caller right now. All right. Oh. Caller number one. Hello, hello, hello. You're... Hello. Hey, hey, how you doing? You are now on your men's and them live. What's your name, caller? My name is Sheridan. How y'all doing this evening? What's up? What's uh, up? How are you? What's doing? good? We're doing great. We're you doing good. great. So what is your opinion on the topic being discussed? Be um, honest, too. Even being a even being a female, I'm, I'm going to keep it a whole band with you. I really feel like Britney set him up. Mm. As soon as Britney slapped social media, you could already tell what she was about. Mm. Uh, she overly sexualized herself. We already knew what type of time that she was on. She may have behaved a certain way around PJ. Uh, uh, women have a way of... Uh, being a, a wolf in sheep's clothing when they Facts. want something. Facts. That they, that they innocent going man. After. That's a big uh, fact. So I definitely do feel like she trapped him. Uh, there was somebody in the chat that was saying something about Future having all of these kids. He had accidents. Brittany had a plan. Mm. Uh, she knew exactly what it was that she wanted. Um, and she, she took advantage of, of, of a young man. Like and uh, uh, um, it's very unfortunate for PJ. Uh, but this is the bed that he definitely did make for himself. He believes the uh, sheep and wolf's clothing, and now he's suffering the consequences of his actions. Mm. Um, Listen, Sherry, that was well said. It doesn't justify her behavior or his innocence, but that just is what it is. Thank you for calling, Sherry. Thank that you for well, calling. That was beautifully well put said. That was well right. said. She, I wonder, she, she said he made his bed. I wonder what kind of bed. Like, is it <laughs> All right, keep watching mattress. the show. Thanks for calling. It's probably an air mattress, ain't it? All right, what do y'all feel? What do y'all feel about her opinion? Y'all agree, disagree? I agree. I agree. Some validity to it. I yeah, agree. It's very, it's very, uh, she was very straight to the point. She to a certain like, extent, though. Right. I do feel like it's it's more so his fault. You should have known, bro. Yeah, you but. You should have known. <laughs> I like I like the fact that she said the other, like, with the whole future and all that, like, oh, with. with oh, and we got another caller. We got another caller. The lines are hot. <laughs> <laughs> the lines are hot. To accept. <laughs> you ain't got no name. <laughs> Zay. To accept. All right. Hello? Yo. Yo, yo, yo. Who is speaking right now? You're Zay. What's good? What's your what's your thoughts on this matter? Uh my thoughts on this matter is pretty simple. Like, okay. Obviously to start off, yes, PJ is dumb. <laughs> but at the same time, at the same time, at the same time. Like, when she got with him, when she got with the nigga, he was like 17, 18. He was, it, was his, it was his freshman year in college. He literally don't know no better. He ain't had no experience pussy like that. She was probably fucking and sucking him crazy. That's a fact. Him <laughs> no, that's a all fact. type of shit, making him believe whatever <laughs> came out her mouth. Regardless, I didn't know he was that young. Regardless of like all the, regardless of like all the social media videos, she had basically talking about like trapping ball players, trapping athletes and stuff. Basically, like looking like a fucking psycho talking about her past dealings with Drake, Colin Kaepernick, Lil Uzi, all of that. Mind you, the nigga's still at the time 18. He really thought, like, yo, like, she probably changed. I'm gonna have a family with Shorty. Mm. Oh, then damn. This, then this happened. Don't tell me it's happened. like that, PJ. Wait, so you don't believe that you can turn a uh, hoe into a housewife? Never. No. <laughs> okay. No. You know, know who he was talking pussy to? Whip? He was <laughs> pussy whip. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah. He was bro, pussy whip. She's third, bro. She's pushing 30. Yeah, she's 29. 21, 22. That's ex- that was experience. She boxing. was putting it on him. He was open. Yeah. <laughs> now, you kind of changed my mind a little bit. When you say it like that, 18 years old, I definitely would have had a baby with her, too. Thanks for calling, Wait, Zay. What? Thanks for calling, Zay. We're going to um, <laughs> stay tuned to the show. We're going to keep. We got some more callers coming. More oh, callers. we got some people who disagree. Shannon, what up? She said, how can I dial in? I respectfully disagree. <laughs> Renella says she respectfully disagrees. Hello, hello, hello. Your nose sweating. Hello. Hello. Who are we speaking with right now? Renella. All right. Calm the attitude down. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> now, what are your thoughts on this topic we're discussing? Why do you disagree? As I said, mm-hmm. Oh, as I said, you start. Yeah, you starting off with as I said. Oh, you bringing it spicy. from spicy. You bringing it from the comments Ooh, to the phone. I, I see what you're doing. <laughs> Early. Do your thing, girl. Do your thing. All right, go ahead, Vanilla. Vanilla. Thank extract. you. So, as I said in the comments, I feel like it's a layered situation. 
I think when we're looking at situations like this, especially from a male and female dynamic, it's automatic that people want to pick a side and say the woman was right or wrong, the man was right or wrong, where everybody is accountable because we're all consenting adults. Once you start laying down with people, you're a consenting adult. Yes, she did have intention with going after him. Yes, he was naive and, you know, felt like he wanted to step into the big leagues. But this is not a secretive person. Everyone knows who she was. But then I feel like the other layer and the other component to it is that we have a lot of young black athletes that have no guidance. There should have been a mm. team around him, some old heads, somebody telling him, like, bro, it ain't worth it. Mm. I feel like if you've seen somebody with the rap sheet that she has, and that's not to say hosts can't change, but that's a whole different conversation for another time. Yes, it is. Mm. You see somebody with the rap sheet she has, it, I don't see how it goes from, all right, maybe you want to hit it to progressing into a relationship with somebody. There, there's a clear lacking of guidance in there. So I, I just think there's a different ways to look at it. I don't think people should try to make it a he's right, she's right, or who's wrong. I think all parties are, are accountable because the consequence of raw sex is children. Like, we old enough to know that. So... At some point, everybody's brain shells should have been working a little bit harder, but she definitely had intention with it. But that's nothing shocking because we already know what kind of person that she is. So none of this about her character is shocking at all. But that's all I had to say. <laughs> Thank you, Vanilla. You're so mature. We want some ratchetness. No, <laughs> no, no I, I definitely agree with you. I definitely agree. That's perfect. Thank perfect. You. perfect. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for calling. Yeah, we got to get on calling. the show. I'm kind of confused still because I'm like, oh shoot, we got another caller. Didn't they say he wanted the kid? Yeah, that's what they he said. Wanted, he wanted to marry her, right? Yeah. So I think she's more so talking about like how everybody else is on some. She, he's, she's trapping him type shit, mm -hmm. and she's saying it's basically two consenting adults. It is, but I would say like if he wanted it, why are you doing him like this? Mm -hmm. That's the thing. Yeah. Like you taking his whole check for something that yeah. he actually wanted. That's kind of fucked up. Mm -hmm. It's nasty man. out here, man. Wrap it All up. Right. If you just called, call back. Call back right now if you just called. We taking one you more call and make sure you call. Yo, shout out everybody in the chat. If you, you are in the it. chat, like the video. Like the video right now. Like the video. This nigga spamming. Yes. Yes, I am. We got one more. We got time for one more caller. One more. And then call we'll right now. When I scroll, said people don't change. Reggie right, said, someone. I think age aside, no, Shannon says, I think age aside, a lot of us have fallen victim to believing we have it in us to be the exception when someone has clearly displayed their pattern of behavior. Mm. You we don't think people caller. change, Shannon? We, we got, got another caller one? right now. Yeah. All right. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Who are, who are we speaking with right now? It's a Melody. Hey, hey Melody, Melody what up? What are you doing? What's going on? What's going Yo. on? Talk, talk that heat. What's going on? I got a question for y'all. Now, let's be real, because a lot of us females feel like a, some guys, I feel like you guys are pretty close, right? When you say a lot of but us females, you mean you, you, right? If you see a man with a woman like her, mm -hmm. like Brittany, mm -hmm. would you call it out? Hell yeah. Would you say yo? Or would you, no? Or would you let him do him? No, be real. Can you honestly say that you really told your man before, like, Nah, or you just let him rock. I've been in positions where before they got into a full relationship, I told them like, "Yo, nah, she ain't it." Like, I no, don't do it. She she's not the right one. I've definitely voiced my opinion before too. Like, right. listen, like you don't have to listen to me, but I'm just letting you know, like, yo, I'm giving you a heads up. Like, this might not be it. Maybe you should take your time, brother. Like, exactly. You know. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, I got you. My phone. My phone. My phone. My phone. I've definitely. <laughs> oh, so everybody's the same. I've, I've, All right. I've hey, you. I've definitely told my friend that <laughs> that box has some UPS smiles on it. <laughs> <laughs> now, if my they listen, question. if they listen, cool. If they don't, at the end of the day, it's none of my business. I've been in positions where my boy told me, like, yo, she been passed around. It hurt, but it is what it is. When I read about this whole situation, I, you know what? I'm going to keep it real because uh, nobody really knows what really happened between those two, between DJ and Britney. We right? all agree. I, 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 you know, I'm going to play devil's advocate and I'm going to say, do y'all really, do you think they actually had a relationship or was it a one night stand? Nah, it was a relationship nah, was, from what they showed. I was about to say, no, one night he, yeah. he just pregnant. She just pregnant, pregnant like one that. Night. Yeah. 
It's definitely a relationship. And that was his motive. Yeah. <laughs> so they were in a relationship. So why is this looking like she's a gold digger? Because she's taking all his... Why are they not in a relationship no more? Yeah, why did she leave after she got pregnant? That's how it's looking. Like, after she got pregnant, what's the time? If y'all know the times, the time frame. I don't know. Okay. We don't got all that information. To be but be honest, she probably would have benefited more staying with him than leaving him. Because she's going to get money regardless. He's but she, she young, probably, dumb, she young, probably dumb. wants a better he was, he's young, candidate. Dumb. He's young, dumb, and full of cum. Yeah, he put it in and got her pregnant, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You uh, know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. I, I'm just saying to look at things at both sides. You know, you I don't know who's doing it right here, but you just, it's just things that make you think, you know? Okay, so you're on the side because we had a couple callers. One lean, some leaning towards the left, some leaning towards the right. You're leaning in the middle. You're saying both of them are accountable, both of them are responsible. Absolutely. When you gotcha. have sex, you know what you're doing. All right. Mm. Yeah, sometimes you don't. <laughs> Thanks for calling, <laughs> Melody. Thanks for I calling. Know, bye. All right, Thanks, Melody. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Sometimes you don't know what you're doing until it's done. Mm, you feel me? Right. And you feel tired after. That's a fact. <laughs> Anything sounds good. You feel right tired now. after. That's a fact. Shoot. Right. Mad regret the next morning, like Word. oh yeah. shit. Was that one wonderful night worth the rest of your life? Hell fucking no. Gush shake carry Bella Watson, get it right. Yeah, it's your man's enough. It's your man's enough.